Yo guys, what's up? It is Cryption Gaming Jake here. Just doing a little experimental video of me trying to commentate over an ESL match taken from Nations Cup 2015 UK versus France. Now the next on admin, I'm um, spectating this game a little bit late, so we've missed the first round, and um, we're also gonna be like uh, a little bit way through the second round here. But it's okay. We've got um, France on NIU and UK on Derb. So anyway, we got Amda Socks coming into white room now, and there's Mr. Kasser in mid bomb. Looks like they're gonna have a little firefight here, but no, Amda Socks is already quite low HP actually. Looks like he's called Darren over for a bit of backup and uh, perhaps a medic, but Darren falls back and Amda Socks also needs to fall back. We got Mr. Jamming crouching up snipe hall here and um, he's checking around barrel room. I think he knows that Amda Socks is in there as well and uh, he wants to get the kill on him, but Gwaz is coming over to check snipe hall. Ah, oh, and Jamming gets fucked up. So basically, that's really that's really bad. That's, it's really important that you get that 4v3 because especially Nations Cup, now with the 4v3, UK can do something. Uh, but Darren gets tagged down quite low, and Darren actually dies, man. So, that's really bad because off kills was all on his own in corner there against like two, maybe even three guys. And Darren just being sloppy, manages to get killed. And now UK is all assaults. All, everyone from the Derb team are assaults. So they need to hit a bomb up now. They need to do some kind of push and do a tactic because they have no medic to rely on. They can't just go long range and pick people anymore. So it looks like we have Jake and Amda Socks pushing through White Room into mid bomb. Uh, France still thinks um, that Derber in corner bomb. Gwaz is coming up slowly through snipe pool. And now the um, the Durban guys are piling into mid bomb. Uh, we've, got, we've got Amda Socks. He looks like he's going to be the bomb planter. And Jake, which is me, sitting under the jump up barrels, getting ready to pounce up on anyone who tries to be taken from snipe pool. Now, yeah, and that's the setup, and we got Gwaz camping all the way of the derb side of Snipe Hall. Now, France is coming to retake. Um, we got two guys from Main Door that are going to pile in, and we got Phenom coming up from Snipe Hall, and here they are. They're going to come into mid bomb now, trying to retake the bomb. Mr. Casser jumps straight into bomb, but misses Amber Socks head down behind the table. He gets fucked up. Off kill sitting in mid bomb. He's now the last guy remaining. Two versus one. He's going to come loop around Snipe Hall fast because he knows Jake and Gwaz are up Snipe Hall, but um. Uh, the Derb team, they're just going to stall this bomb here. Jake runs away to uh, into White Room and Gwaz runs away into Barrel Room. And that's going to leave the impossible defuse for Mr. Off Kills. Because he's not going to be able to defuse with that time. Just Derb and just simply stalling the bomb. Stall the bomb and you guarantee yourself the round. Now into our first proper round here from start to finish. We've got Derb pushing three guys into snipe pool and uh, we got Jake going through white room and it looks like they're going to push up fast. There's only one guy mid bomb and one guy snipe pool and these nades from Amdasox are going to push the snipe pool guy away and they're just going to pile three guys into mid bomb instantly and Mr. Cass is not able to get, you know, a one for one. He could have at least killed one before he died but um, looks like Gwaz is now going to fall back from snipe pool and this has been a really fast push into mid bomb from the Derb team. Uh, we've got three guys in mid bomb for Derb and one guy of Derb, Gwaz, who's sitting all the way snipe hall again. And now it looks like NIU is going to retake this 4 versus 3. Phenom heads through Garden, off kills heading through snipe hall. But Jake is jumping up and he's going to take out off kills. Mr. Jamming comes through main door and he gets taken down by Sam Spot. And now last guy remaining, Phenom coming through white room. Manages to take down Darren, but it don't really matter at this point because it's going to be an another impossible 3v1. And uh, that's going to be 2-1 for UK. But yeah, not every round is going to be that fast. Now let's take a look at where NIU sets up their players. So we got Mr. Jamming Snipe Hall, Mr. Kassa sits in mid bomb in a corner, Phenom Garden Room and off kills in corner bomb alone. So that's the defense of NIU. Oh my god, it looks like I'm walking in there, but I'm actually just quick leaning. <laughs> Please don't ban me. So what Derb needs to do is make it into a 4 versus 3 and then push something now how do they get a 4 versus 3 that's by getting a pick of course but uh, it looks like derb is going to rush into mid bomb and amda sucks actually comes through main door and catches mr Kasser in his spot and that's going to be another 4 versus 3 and a quick quick push into mid bomb actually quite a quick and unexpected push and uh, niu needs to change their defense if they're going to counter against something like that but uh, amda sucks goes down and it looks like jake goes down as well and Darren's going to come through main door. He's going to try and pick it up. And this has been a great fast retake from NIU. Ah, oh, Darren's unable to drop Phenom there. 
and that was actually a very good retake from France, the NIU team. A 4v3 in favour of Derp has quickly turned into a 1v3, I mean how the hell did that happen? So anyway now we're left, we're left in a 1v3 for Guaz aka UK Tom and um, old great player you know but he knows exactly what he needs to do, he needs to get into a position where he can catch a guy, one guy off guard and make it into a 1 versus 2 for himself and he's managed to sneak through into corner unfortunately France was not watching that corner cross Guaz has done this very fast, he's, he's knows, he knew what his goal was from the very beginning he's probably, probably got cams taken from UK and he knows if he comes up this ladder he's probably going to catch someone off guard and there he does, he catches Fenham off guard and that's now a 1 versus 2 for Guaz that's all he needed was one pick and then reset but it, no, it looks like he doesn't want to go down the ladder. This is the way he's going to play. He's going to rush up and try and get a pick. But France responds quite quickly. They know what he's doing and they're just going to hide. And that's all France wants to do. They want to hide and play with the bomb. So by sticking two guys snipe all like that for France, that, that means that Guaz cannot plant mid-bomb. And with only 45 seconds remaining on the clock, Guaz is basically going to have to just plant the bomb in corner bomb and go one versus two in corner bomb. And we're going to see how the NIU guys plan to retake this. Obviously, um, it's highly in favor of NIU right now, but we'll see what Guaz decides to do. So I think Guaz has a cam of main hall there and he tries to throw a nade and kill one of them or tag them. And if that was successful, that would have easily tagged them and put some time on the bomb for him to stall with. But no, he's now let both of the NIU guys pour into mid, into corner bomb. And he's going to try and roll up and kill the diffuser first. And no, he doesn't quite get it. If he had one extra roll or something like that, maybe he would have had a chance to kill the second NIU guy. But it was a very, very tough situation there for Guaz in the end. So heading on into the next round now, it looks like we have a remake, which is basically just um, one of the players crashed, but the in-game score is not counted this, the real score that we're keeping track of ourselves is being counted so the score is still two for two now we just got a quick spawn here we're just waiting for every player to spawn so we can go and here we go so it looks like we got Guaz going to snipe pool alone and it, notice how Mr. Kasser is no longer going into mid bomb for NIU he's now staying all the way in his lobby I guess they noticed that you know, I've been picked off in mid-bomb two rounds in a row and we've almost lost both rounds because of it. And I guess that's the French team's logic right now. And um, it looks like it's going to be a slow round here and we haven't really seen anyone move it. Whoa! Okay, never mind. Derb is all piled up in mid-bomb. That was like five nights at Freddy's, man. We got a whole of Derb team in mid-bomb just like that and it looks like NIU missed it. I mean, we have off kills still watching corner so they can't possibly know that they're still there. Jamming is reloading, so Darren, Darren's going to try and push on that, but Jamming gets out his MP5K and manages to kill Darren. That was a good opportunity for Darren, but he just wasn't quite able to take it. Now we've got a 4 versus 3 retake, and Jake actually goes down, so it's now a 4 versus 2 retake. But Amda Sox and Guaz just manages to take down 3 guys, and it's now a 2 versus 1 for the last NIU guy. Amda Sox is hiding in the triple barrel area. And Guaz is still hiding in Snipe Hall, and they're just going to run this clock down and probably take this round. Guaz is 1 HP, so he's very low on HP right now. I think Amda Sucks should be low HP as well, but it doesn't really matter because they've won this round. Amda Sucks is going to show himself, gets flopped, but like I said, doesn't matter. They did what they needed to do. That was a very good round by Amda Sucks and Guaz there, carrying that round 2 versus 4, and just pretty much just dominating them. So heading on into the next round now, we've got Amda Sox, AFK, we got Jamming on Snipe Hall, we got Mr. Kassa, like I said, he doesn't want to go mid-bump, but he does want to do something with Main Hall and watching the White Room cross or something like that. And there is some long-range battles going down mid-hall, we've got Guaz watching Snipe Hall, Jake running away from corner bomb grenades, and yeah, it does look like there's some spraying going down Main Hall, so there's some long-range battles, so I'm guessing this is going to be quite a slow round. Um... Darren coming up uh, to corner bomb here as well as Jake and it looks like they're going to try and get some long range bullets onto off kills and if they can kill him that can make a 4v3 and they have tagged off kills quite a lot. Off kills is now needs to medic up and um, if he gets tagged too badly he might have to leave that bomb. But yeah apart from that we've also got 
the two snipe pool guys from Durban and IU also long ranging each other. Um, and we've got two guys from Derb putting pressure on corner and we've got Amber Sox watching all the way down main hall towards Mr. Kassa. And they're just basically trying to spot each other and read each other, you know. NIU's trying to read the tactics. That's why NIU sits so far back, because NIU is trying to read um, what the Derb guys are doing. But at the same time, for, just for this round, Derb is trying to get a pick. And Gwaz manages to just randomly flop the NIU guy. So Gwaz just flopped Mr. Jamming snipe hall to snipe hall. That AK-47, man, completely fucked him up. And... Um, it looks like a couple of derb guys have managed to, to get into mid bomb. Jake is in his usual spot under the jump up barrels and Amda Sox is in the bomb. Seems to be switching, doing some fakes which is no, he finally starts planting the bomb. Mr. Cass is rushing straight through mid bomb and Jake needs to cover him. But he's unfortunately able to cover Amda Sox. Oh man, I do get the kill though. And it's now a 2 versus 2. Gwaz and Jake versus Phenom and off kills. So Phenom's crouching through white room here. Um, and off kills is going up through snipe pool. I think Gwaz is snipe pool from Derb and Jake, which is me, I'm just sitting on them jump up barrels, the, the spot where you jump up to snipe pool. And uh, off kills comes through snipe pool. Jake jumps up and takes him down. And Gwaz and Jake are just both snipe pool. And Phenom has to get something done. This was very slow play from Phenom, to be honest. But he was checking all the corners in white room, but that just didn't pay off for him. Wasted too much time on the retake, and that is going to be the win for UK. So that is now 4-2 to UK. And going on into the next round here, it looks like if you see the NIU setup, Mr. Kassa is now snipe hall, and Mr. Jamming is now main hall. I guess Mr. Kassa wasn't too happy about Mr. Ja Mr. Jamming getting flopped that previous round, and getting picked off for that 4v3. We see Jake baiting two of Venom's grenades, and... Uh, Looks like there's some mid hall spam, but it looks like apart from that, the start of this round is going to be slow. We see Jake and Amber Sox coming up to corner together, and it's going to be a two versus one against off kills. And what Jake and Amber Sox is trying to do here is just basically tag off kills enough and hopefully kill him. And uh, if we tag him at a box enough, if we get him to like half HP at a box and he tries to roll away, we should, might be able to get the kill onto him. So we'll see how much he exposes himself. Right now, off kills is on the left side of the box. Jake is tagging the heck out of him. And, ooh, Amber Sox just needed to get a last couple bullets there as he rolled away. But he was unable to do so. So we missed that 4v3 pick there. Darren is just watching the snipe pool flank. But, no, NIU isn't doing anything too risky. And now, with off kills getting tagged so much on corner, NIU is setting up for a corner bomb retake. And NIU is basically expecting Derb to push up in corner. But, no. Mr. Jamming watching that cross into, into corner bomb, but Darren actually takes down Mr. Jamming for that. It's almost like Mr. Jamming fell back to that sofa to watch um, the corner bomb cross, but it didn't actually happen. And Mr. Cass is going to push straight up into snipe pool because he saw Gwaz shooting his AK here, but Gwaz is just piecing out of there. And NIU is still holding off corner bomb. Doesn't look like Derb wants to push up quite yet. But Mr. Kassa is going to be a problem if Mr. Kassa hangs around up snipe all here. Uh, but it looks like the rest of the derp guys are piling into mid bomb. And oh no, Mr. Kassa does actually kill Gwaz in um, this side of snipe pool. Jake, which is me, I'm in my usual jump up spot. I guess I don't have the stamina to jump up and kill Mr. Kassa. That's really unfortunate. I used so much stamina getting into that position. And Darren actually went down in main hall as well. And it's a 3v2 for this NIU retake. And uh, actually all three of the NIU guys come through the main door. And the Sox manages to get one, which is great. Um, but me, however, I'm, I'm way too much expecting a snipe pool guy to come. So I wasn't able to help Sam there. And now I'm left in this awkward situation where I have to go for the bomb diffuser. I mean, what would have been nice is if I peeked out the window and I would have killed one as well. And that would have made it a 1v1 for me. And um, that possibly would have gave us a much better chance at winning that round but it is now 4-3 to UK so France puts another round on the board but yeah it looks like Mr. Jamming actually wants to go into mid bomb now and Mr. Kassar in snipe pool Phenom and off kills in their usual positions looks like we've got some long range spam from snipe pool and from corner bomb there's some long range spam We've got Amda Sox watching down main hill. We've got Darren watching out of garden room. Darren gets headshot. Oh, Darren actually gets taken down by Phenom. 
That was some nice long range spray from Fenham there. A little bit of luck involved, but Darren could have done with sticking his head down a little bit more. And Fenham actually pushes into Garden and throws some grenades up to corner, and I get taken down as well. I get fucked. Unfortunately, we didn't have Darren watching um, Garden anymore because he got flopped. So, you know, that leaves Garden vulnerable. And Fenham's doing some nice grenades from Garden into corner bomb there to the main box, which should be an invis invincible box to stay at. But anyway, it's now two versus four for U for UK. I mean, for France, it is a four versus two, and um, this is going to be a really difficult round for UK to win. Sam actually gets into a great spot. Amber Sox here. Oh, he just misses Phenom. Come on, you got to take off kills. No, he's missed every single bullet. No, he gets taken down. He actually did put off kills quite low, but damn, he missed like two free kills there, and it is now one versus four for Guaz. And making a 1v4 where every single spot is covered is pretty much going to be unwinnable for Guaz. And look at his HP, 4 HP. So you know what? I'm just going to skip forward. And yeah, UK did lose that round. So it's now 4-4. Four, four. So heading on into the fifth round now. Let's see where the NIU guys go. We got Mr. Jamming in mid bomb again. Pretty much the same setup from NIU. Oh, man. Jake gets absolutely pieced from corner bomb. You see off kill's position there. As soon as, like, I was distracted with the mid bomb guy. And as soon as I came up corner, off kill's was pre-aiming that spot. And that's really bad play from me. <laughs> Rest in peace. But it looks like we got a four on three in favor of um, NIU. And that's going to be really bad because um, they have the advantage but you know we got Ander Sox and Darren coming into mid bomb looking for a free pick and oh what a sick move on jamming man Sam saw him through the boards there Ander Sox saw him through the little boards and he was able to pull off a sick trick to get a free pick basically and it's now made into a 3 versus 3 so Derb has a chance to take this round it's not lost all is not lost because all they needed was that pick you know, it wasn't necessarily um, a careless play by jamming there, but Amda Sox was just, um, he was just there to outplay him, so. We've got Darren venturing on, him, up, on into corner, uh, but it looks like Derb is moving into mid bomb. We see a couple Derb guys running through white room. Maybe Gwaz from Derb is um, running up snipe pool. We're going to have to see. Uh, we've got Mr. Kassa watching snipe pool. Mr. Kassa's peeking out the window here while Amda Sox... Um, Looks like we've got some hacks there, and Gwaz is coming up snipe ball, and Mr. Castle rushes him, takes him down. It's now a two on three, and now you guys rushing into mid bomb. Darren takes one down, Sam dies, Darren is going to get out of the bomb, and Darren has a two versus one here. Really quite a sick move that Mr. Castle did there. He expected Gwaz to be there at snipe ball, and he just did an unexpected rush. Maybe if um, Amder Sox was in a position like the jump up barrels or something, or if Darren got into mid bomb as well, it probably would have worked out better for them. But now Darren's in a two versus one. He's going to try and make his way round to mid bomb. And the other two NIU guys are, def are deciding to um, hold into corner. And uh, Darren's going for the pick here. He's going to try and randomly spray one down, but with the time not on his side as well, it probably would have been a better idea to just plant mid bomb from the very start. But now he's shown himself snipe ball. Uh, the two NIU guys know that he was close to mid bomb. Now Darren's not going to be able to plant in time. Probably would have been better if Darren just planted the bomb to be honest. And that is now 5-4. France is leading on UK. And we're now into the 10th round. It's getting quite close here. And um, Jake has to be sure not to make the same mistake that he made last round. Peeking that mid bomb guy. There's really no need for it. All he has to do is just watch corner bomb. And it uh, looks like we've got the same positions for NIU. And... I think I saw two guys snipe pool on Derb. It looks like um, Derb might be setting up for a mid bomb push, and we already see Darren and Amda Sox in mid bomb, and he's going to rush this Mr. Jamming guy and get a nice kill onto him there. And we probably see Gwaz on snipe pool. Yes, we do. So Derb has one guy snipe pool. Amda Sox is going down for the plant. Jake in his normal jump up barrel spot. And this looks similar to one of the previous rounds we've seen. Phenom's going to go into white room. We've already got the rush straight into the mid bomb from NIU. They're already retaking. Amda Sox is sitting in the bomb. Let's see if he checks the table this time. And he does. He actually does check the table. Uh, but Jake is there to respond with a kill. And Jake's going to try and take another one on. But he doesn't quite do it. Two versus two. Darren holding it off. Darren's stuck in that jump up barrels corner. But it doesn't matter because we have Gwaz in snipe pool. Gwaz really needs to run away or try and fight him. Gwaz decides to run away all the way down snipe pool. 
<laughs> and he just goes in a complete circle. That puts so much time on the bomb that it's just basically a free round for Derb. So yeah, the good thing about planting in mid bomb, really, um, I guess why the the best thing about planting in mid bomb is it's easy to stall the time out, especially if you jump up to snipe pool like that. You just have so many options. Now into the 11th round, let's see the NIU setup. Mr. Jamming is not heading into mid bomb on this round. Uh, I guess see, you know, NIU, they keep getting picked off every single time in mid bomb and it seems like every time that happens, that's where they lose the round. So it's good that the NIU team is picking up on that, but can't really suggest any counter, counter tactic for them right now. I'm not sure if Derb has even um, pushed into corner bomb once this game. <laughs> Off kills is lighting people up. He's like, lol, why didn't you die? That's twice. That's twice you haven't died to me. Who is it? Is it me? I think I'm the one who got tagged. Yeah, I am. Look, I healed to like 38 and then 68. So I got put down to like 8% HP. Darren and Sock's going to move into mid bomb. And there's no one there to oppose us. I mean, and there's no one there to oppose Derb. And, um... Yeah... With no one really in mid bomb from NIU, I guess um, the best they could hope for is just a strong retake, but otherwise they shouldn't be giving up that mid bomb so easily. I'm not sure if they will or not, but this is, nonetheless, it's quite a slow round, and it, I think off kills almost killed someone again. Let's see who he killed. Oh, uh, Darren got down to 40%, so he got down to 10% HP. Uh, Under Socks is venturing into this bomb, trying to figure out if he's in mid bomb and what corner he's sitting in. I think that's what Amdersox is doing here by lurking around white room like this. He's trying to find out if someone's in mid bomb and if they are he's trying to find out what position they're in so he can pounce on him and take him out and get a free pick and get an entry into that middle bomb site. And we do have Gwaz watching the snipe pool as well. And we have Darren coming up as well. I wonder where Jake is right now. Um, looks like Gwaz is going to push up with grenades. Pushing that snipe hall defense back a little bit, and I think Amber Sox has made his way into bomb. I guess he figured out that there's no one in bomb to oppose him. There is a guy, oh, nicely dodged grenade there by Amber Sox. He threw a grenade from B balcony straight into bomb, and he was able to dodge it. Looks like Fenham and Jake are going to have a run in in white room right now. And NIU is retaking two guys from snipe hall. Darren's there to take one, and then uh, there is a response from uh, someone who killed Darren. And there's me going in for that kill. Nicely done, Jake. On two off kills. Phantom left guy remaining two versus one. He's going to come out to the main hall. And we kill each other. And that is going to be a round for UK. UK is now up by two rounds. UK really needs to win this round to close this side off. And NIU is actually pushing three guys into snipe, into corner bomb. And it looks like Jake has just spotted them. That could have been really ugly if Jake actually committed to corner there he would have been taken out by three guys but um i was able to kind of check check a rush i mean it's just one of those it's one of those um protective measures you take especially when you're in an important match you don't want to give yourself away as a three pick that three man corner push could have been ugly we could have fell into a 4v3 for ourselves so let's see what else is going on Looks like NIU, to me, has fallen back into their default positions. And so uh, it looks like we got a jump over into Garden from Amder Socks, And Amder Socks is going to do fast into mid bomb. And there's no one in mid bomb to really challenge them. We've got Mr. Kasser in snipe hall. And Jake is falling into his usual position. we got Darren all the way over at corner. Darren needs to get over to mid bomb with the rest of his teammates. And, um... You know, we got a four-man retake from Snipehall from NIU, and Jake manages to pick one up. Four versus three for Derb. Gwaz needs medic. It looks like he's been headshot, and he's going to fall back for some medic. Jake and Darren are going to fall back and try and medic him. And, um, you know, NIU thinks there's still guys in mid-bomb, but really I think Derb has fallen back to medic, and they're heading on over to corner. But look at this position of Amda Socks. Amda Socks is in mid-bomb all alone, and he's in a great position. If um, if the Derb guys plant in corner bomb, we'll get a rotation out of NIU and Amda Sucks will be able to back rape some people and get some get some damage down on anyone who tries to retake corner bomb. So we're going to see that happen now. Two guys from NIU are retaking from their own base and Amda Sucks comes behind them and he gets a free kill. And we got Mr. Jamming coming as well. 
And last guy from NIU is coming from the long side of corner and he's going to get taken down and that is 7-5 for UK. And now UK and France switch sides so um, that's going to come into part 2 because otherwise this video is going to go to like 40 to 50 minutes long. It's already long enough but um, yeah if you guys like this then I will upload the second part. But apart from that guys thanks for watching. Um, leave your feedback if you guys want me to upload the second part then I will. Stay tuned and subscribe for more and I'll see you soon.